Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Kunshi from Fudan University. It's my great honor to present our work here. This paper is a joint work of the researchers from Fudan University and Johns Hopkins University. In the real world, there are a large number of websites are still running old version applications. According to news reports, after three months since the patch for the high-risk vulnerability was released, there are still around 115,000 websites threatened by the vulnerability. Inspired by this, we conducted a study but found that deploying patches on old versions was not a trivial task. To the best of our knowledge, there are two existing vulnerability fixing practices. One is using the patch command to deploy patches directly, and the other one is using the auto-upgrade API provided by the web application. However, for the patch command, we found that it was highly susceptible to report code conflict errors when applying patch to older versions. In our data site, more than two-thirds of the older versions threw this error. And for the auto-upgrade API, we found that not all applications provide it, which requires developer efforts. Moreover, upgrading in this way is prone to compatibility issues, such as conflicts between MySQL or PHP versions before and after the upgrade. Let's take a real vulnerability as an example. Both versions of OpenEMR are vulnerable to the public CVE. Unfortunately, OpenEMR does not provide an auto-upgrade API, and when we tried to apply the patch to an old version via the patch command, the old version reported a code conflict error because the patch could not identify the modified location due to code changes in line 2 and line 3 of the old version. In this paper, we would like to address the difficulty of applying patches to older versions. That is, when being given a patch for a vulnerable version, we can backport the patch to fix the same vulnerability on another vulnerable version. However, automatically backport patches to older versions with guaranteed compatibility and security require addressing three challenges. First, can the patch be compatible with another vulnerable version? Second, can the patch fix the vulnerability on another vulnerable version? Third, can the patch be automatically applied to another vulnerable version? The aforementioned challenges come from three mismatches among the triples of vulnerability, patch, and the target version. First, the patch and the vulnerability mismatch may break compatibility. Since the patch may contain vulnerability irrelevant modifications to update web application functionalities, which may be incompatible with older versions. Second, the target version and the vulnerability mismatch may break security. As the official patch is usually developed for the pre patch version, the target version may not contain exactly the same vulnerability as the patch aims to fix. Third, the patch and the target version mismatch may hinder automated patch deployment. The code changes in the target version may make it difficult for patches to identify modified locations. To address the three challenges, we have studied the patches for injection-based vulnerability and observed that these vulnerabilities are usually fixed by restricting the capability of the sync function. Thus, we propose sync capability, which consists of all user inputs that can go to the sync functions. Then, we can fix the same vulnerability on other versions by backporting the safe sync capability. That is, first, we identify and transform the safely backportable patch to ensure the compatibility after patch deployment. We require SBP only restricts the capability of the single function, which does not contain any irrelevant patch modifications. Thus can address the mismatch between patch and vulnerability. Second, we identify safely backportable version to ensure the security after patch deployment. The SBV is the target version that has the same sync capability as the pre-patch version, so that we can address the mismatch between target version and the vulnerability. Third, we deploy SBP on SBV by replacing the vulnerable sync with the safe sync, which only requires minimal source code level modifications to fix the vulnerability and can address the mismatch between the patch and the target version. This page shows an end-to-end -end case for patch backporting. First, our system analyzes the official patch and identifies it as backportable. Then, our system will extract the safe sync ability based on the backportable patch and transform it into SBP. Finally, our system identifies the SBV that has the same sync ability with the pre-patch version and automatically applies the SBP to fix the vulnerability. 
Now, we give a formulaic representation of the sync ability. First, we call a control flow path leading to the sync function as a sync flow. Then, the input that reach the sync along each path can be represented as flow 1, flow 2, and so on. For each sync flow, it consists of two parts, reaching condition and data expression. The reaching condition is the site of the control flow conditions in the flow, and the data expression is the symbolic expression of the critical sync parameters in the flow. Finally, the sync ability can be represented as the site of reaching conditions and the data expression on each sync flow. This page shows a concrete example for sync ability representation. The sync function can be located on line 11. Due to the conditional statement, the inputs reach the sync with three flows. For each flow, our system forwards tracking the path from the entrance on line 2 and collects the reaching conditions and the data expressions. The sync ability can be represented as the set of reaching conditions and the data expressions on three sync flows. With the sync ability on different versions, we can give the formulaic properties for SBP and SBV. For the SBP, we require both reaching conditions and data expressions of the sync function in post-patch version is a subset of the pre-patch version. Moreover, we require the safe sync ability in post-patch version is deterministically computable. Thus, when backporting the SBP, we can ensure it will not affect the compatibility of the target version. And for the SBV, we require both reaching conditions and data expressions of the sync function in pre-patch version is exactly the same as the target version. Based on this, we can ensure the target version has the same vulnerability with the pre-patch version. Now, we talk about the design of our system, which is implemented based on PHP join and called Skyport. Skyport backports the official patch on the old version with three steps. First, Skyport analyzes the official patch to identify whether it is backportable, and if so, Skyport will transform it into SBP. Second, Skyport verifies the target version to identify whether it is an SBV. Finally, Skyport will automatically deploy the SBP on an SBV. This page shows the workflow of Skyport. To finish the three steps of patch backporting, Skyport leverages four key modules. The patch affection analysis module is used to analyze the patch modifications and locate the sync functions. The sync ability extraction module is used to extract the sync ability based on the given sync function. The backportable analysis module is used to analyze and compare two given sync ability and verify whether they meet the proposed properties of SBP and SBV. The patch deployment module is used to automatically deploy SBP on SBV with source code level modifications. In evaluation path, we first show our data site for evaluating Skyport. We select 155 real-world vulnerabilities from 10 popular PHP web applications, covering 155 official patches and 1526 CVE version pairs. Our selection criteria is the PHP web applications with more than 1,000 stars in the GitHub, and their patches is aimed to fix injection-based vulnerability. Moreover, the patches should fix the vulnerability by restricting the capability of sync functions, not directly deleting the sync function located file or other ways. Then, we conduct a dataset statistics to illustrate that the patch backporting is a non-trivial task. In our 155 security patches, we found that 98 patches contain vulnerability irrelevant modifications, such as functionality modifications or variable name modifications, which may lead to backward compatibility or patch deployment issues. And in our 1526 CVE version pairs, we found the 563 versions do not have the same vulnerability as the pre patch version. For these versions, we cannot ensure the security after the patch backporting. Moreover, there are also 1071 versions have code location changes around the patch, which may lead to the code conflicts when directly applying the ordinary patch by patch command. This page shows the result overview of Skyport evaluation. First, we evaluate the effectiveness of Skyport. The results show that Skyport can successfully backport 98 SBPs to 750 SBVs with 100% success rate. 
Second, we evaluate the efficiency of Skypot. The results show that Skypot takes around 6,000 seconds on average for an end-to-end -end patch backporting case. Third, we compare Skypot with another two existing vulnerability fixing practice, and the results demonstrate that Skypot performs significantly better than other technicals. Then, we conduct experiments to demonstrate the guaranteed compatibility and security of Skypod patched web applications. Since evaluating Skypod patched applications involves significant human efforts, such as manually building the application runtime environment or collecting public exploits, we evaluate a subset of Skypod patched applications covering 11 and 27 CVE version pairs from four applications. The results show that Skypod patched applications have a 100% test pass ratio for security and compatibility testing. Moreover, comparing with official patch deployment, SVP deployment only introduced negligible overhand after deploying on target versions. At the last, we make a conclusion of our paper. In this paper, we propose a methodology for automatic patch backporting with guaranteed compatibility and security. Moreover, we define the formulation for safely backportable patches and safely backportable versions, which enable safe patch backporting. To demonstrate our methodology, we implement a property tool, namely Skypot, for automatically backporting injection-based PHP patches to older vulnerable versions. And the evaluation result illustrates the effectiveness and the efficiency of the proposed approach. For more detailed information, welcome to read our paper. Thank you.